Welcome back. So today we're gonna go ahead and talk about the while loop. Let's, let's just go ahead and delete this. Also, by the way, the reason why I left this is because I actually forgot to mention something. If the body is of the for loop is composed out of a single line, then the curly bra the curly braces are not not mandatory at all. So you can, for example, here let's just. Uh, do this and let's say that this one line was the entirety of the body of the for loop you could just write it like this you wouldn't need to place any uh, curly br uh, curly braces or anything like that it would uh, it would work without any problems of whatsoever just readjusting myself in the seat okay so let's go ahead and delete this we are not going to need it I was kind of hoping that I could recycle a little bit of the code, but not, not gonna happen. So let's take a look at the syntax of the while loop. So the same, well, very similar rules pretty much apply for while loop as well. So you have, it's written like this, so while, and then you open up, uh, not brackets, but uh, these braces, uh, parentheses, and you type in a condition, so condition. So there's a game, no, not literally a condition. This is just pseudocode. So there is going to be a condition here. And for as long as that condition evaluates to true, the body of the loop will continue to execute. The loop will continue. However, when the condition becomes false, the loop will terminate. So basically you could interpret this while true. In fact, this is a legitimate line of code while true, although this loop will never terminate. It is a forever infinite loop, so to say. Uh, every loop, every for loop that is, so the loops that we have learned in previous lecture, the for loop, so every for loop can be transformed into a while loop and vice versa. So let's say that our for loop would look like this. So you have i, which is the initializer, and let's say have C for condition and increment and I and C for increment. How would you, well, okay, let's do this as well, body. How would you convert this to a while loop? How would this look in terms of a while loop? Well, it would be somewhat different, I can tell you that. The initializer would go before the loop and the while loop would go like this and then the condition would go here while the body along with the increment would actually go here. So I will show you this in greater detail once we go through some examples, but just to get, get an idea, you see this is the for loop and this is the while loop. The initializer would need to be declared and initialized here. The condition would be placed here and the increments or the changes of the initializer would occur within the while loop itself, right here. Well, they don't need to actually occur here. They can occur anywhere within the body of the loop. They don't need to be at the end specifically. That is what I'm trying to actually state. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into a short example. This is a fairly simple subject to comprehend. But you know, as always, there'll be somebody in the discussion section who's gonna, who will be there to assist you in any way that they can. Anyway, let's go ahead and type in int n. Place a semicolon there, declare a, vari declare a variable n. Could have recycled that. std c out, could have recycled this as well. Enter n. Enter n. std c in okay so this example looks i mean pretty much the same or similar or whatever so all that we are doing is we are going to convert the previous for loop example into a while loop example more or less this first portion of the code uh along with in some i guess i could have just uh recycled but it doesn't really matter because this is the important part of the code which i would like which i would really like you to understand so what we need to do first is uh declare an initializer int i 
you remember how before within the for loop we declared int i here we're going to declare it outside of the while loop my apologies my nose is giving me a bit of problems today i have no idea why but oh well anyway it says int i equals one uh, this is the declaration of the initializer and here we can immediately jump into the while loop and state our condition so i shall be lesser or equal to n excellent and now we will open up the body of the while loop so let's go ahead and use the same things as before so number std c out enter i number okay so std cn uh, number semicolon this is the same as before so we're creating pretty much the same body as before but you will see uh, the difference some plus or equal so I have explained this part in the previous tutorial number excellent and here here is the key difference so here we will increment the actual initializer and this is how it will go I shall become I shall be declared and initialized to one I shall be taken into the loop and evaluated against n which will be the integer that we will and that the user will enter for as long as i is lesser or equal to that particular integer, the body of the loop will continue, will be executed, and the iterations of the of the initializer will happen as well. Once the iterations have reached a stage where i has become greater than n, the loop will this condition here will evaluate to false and the loop will terminate. And the program will continue. The program will not terminate unless you specify it to terminate. The program will continue to run. It will just go to the next line of code after the loop, unless specified otherwise. So std, see out. Okay, so I'll just do this formal part. Sum of. Maybe we don't even need to, but a y dot. And I just want to show you that you're going to get pretty much the same things. Entered numbers is some std and l okay there you go so c out let's go ahead and build and run this uh wow <laughs> wow i actually managed to make exactly the same mistake as before which is fascinating, isn't it? Like, I've made exactly the same mistake as in the previous tutorial. Like, exactly the same spot, exactly the same thing. Like, I'm, I'm, are you sure you want to? No, no, I don't want to do that. I'm one of those people in life. Oh, wait, what's, come on. No, don't do this to me now. What is the, what is the, what is the deal? Uh, C out was not declared in this scope. It was declared. Okay, error C out was not declared in this. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Missing one of these. Okay, there we go. So enter number N. Let's make it three this time. First number one, two, five. The sum of three entered numbers is eight. Anyway, what I was trying to tell you is that I'm one of those people with extremely poor memory from time to time and if you tell me a joke today if i die laughing to it you can tell me the same joke tomorrow i will still die laughing to it i'm amazing to have as a friend very very low maintenance so to say very easy to interchange with a conversation anyway uh gonna bid you farewell and we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next tutorial where we shall continue with this but we're going to jump into the do while loop, which is fairly similar to while as well.